السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو لائیو اوید حسن اختر ویورز آر ٹوڈیز لیسن ریلیٹڈ ٹو کلاس نائنتھ یونٹ نمبر نائن نیم آف دا یونٹ انٹروڈکشن ٹو کوآڈینیٹ جیومیٹری وی ہیو آلریڈی کمپلیٹیڈ ایکسرسائز نائن پوائنٹ ٹو آن دس ٹاپک اینڈ وی آر ٹو ہیو نیکسٹ ایکسرسائز ٹوڈے وی اسٹارٹ فرام دا فرسٹ رول دیٹ از کالڈ مڈ پوائنٹ فارمولا let us define the midpoint formula it says let p x1 y1 and q x2 y2 p2 points in the plane then the midpoint r x y of the line segment p q is defined as r x y is equal to r x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 that is the sum of the coordinates of the x places and then the sum of coordinates of the y places divided by 2 provides us the distance formula that is very simple and easy to remember we move forward towards the start of exercise 9.3 question number one says that find the midpoint of the line segment joining each of the following pair of points part number one contains two points named a 9 comma 2 b 7 comma 2 starting our solution if r x y is the midpoint then r x y by using the formula just now completed x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 applying the formula we have sum of x components is equal to 9 plus 7 divided by 2 whereas the sum of y components of both the coordinates this is 2 plus 2 divided by 2 we obtain in the next step 16 divided by 2 comma 4 divided by 2 making the simplification we have r8 comma 2 as the midpoint of the given two points the next part part e it has question values a into 3 minus 11 comma b into 3 comma minus 4 starting our solution says if r x y is the midpoint then using the midpoint formula r x y will be equal to r x 1 plus x 2 over 2 comma y 1 plus y 2 over 2 looking for the values of x and y we have r 3 plus 3 over 2 comma minus 11 minus 4 divided by 2 that is r 6 over 2 comma minus 15 over 2 simplified form gives us r 3 comma minus 7.5 as the answer hope you understand and practice the midpoint formula next statement question number two the end point P of a line segment PQ is minus 3, 6 and its midpoint is 5, 8. Find the coordinates of the end point Q. Students, you need to understand the wording of the question. Now you are given the midpoint and one end point you have to calculate the another end point. Starting our solution as this will be the frame of diagram if you want to make and if you want to understand exactly that one end point is p having coordinates minus 3 6 midpoint given is r 5 8 and other end point q x y you have to calculate its coordinates that is x and y calculation is your main job over here we are given that the point p is minus 3 6 and given that the midpoint is 5 comma 8 let us name the midpoint as r 5 8 let q x y be the required point according to the given condition we have as we know that midpoint formula says uh, x coordinate is x1 plus x2 over 2 so according to diagram we have 5 is equal to x plus minus 3 over 2 and the y coordinate 8 is equal to 8 plus 6 or 8 is equal to y plus 6 over 2 making cross multiplication 2 into 5 makes 10 so 10 is equal to x minus 3 shifting 3 to the other side x becomes 10 plus 3 that is equal to 13 now talking about the y coordinate that is 8 is equal to y plus 6 over 2 multiplying by 2 we have 16 is equal to y plus 6 very simple y is equal to 16 minus 6 
that gives y is equal to 10 so we calculated both the values of x and y that is basically our unknown point coordinates that is q x y is equal to 13 comma 10 as my answer question number five says show that the diagonals of a parallelogram having vertices a 1 2 b 4 2 c minus 1 minus 3 and d minus 4 minus 3 bisect each other students we already know that diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other so here we want to calculate that if the midpoint of both the diagonals results same that means they coincide and the desired statement will be completed our solution will occur then so we calculate first the midpoint of diagonal ac utilizing the same midpoint formula we name it as point p having the coordinates 1 minus 1 over 2 comma 2 minus 3 over 2 according to the given values of the question you can observe here x1 is here plus 1 and here x1 x1 x2 that is minus 1 so x1 plus x2 over 2 gives us 1 minus 1 over 2 whereas y1 is 2 and here y2 is minus 3 that gives us y1 plus y2 over 2 because of sine minus it becomes 2 minus 3 whole over 2 simplification gives us p 0 over 2 comma minus 1 over 2 so finally we obtain point p as 0 comma minus 0.5 now we calculate the midpoint of diagonal bd using the same midpoint formula x1 plus x2 over 2 comma y1 plus y2 over 2 we name this point as q 4 minus 4 over 2 comma 2 minus 3 over 2 in the next step we have 0 over 2 comma minus 1 over 2 that means we are having q is equal to 0 minus uh, 0.5 which is same as that was point p the midpoint of diagonal ac so we observe that as the midpoint of diagonal ac and midpoint of diagonal bd coincide hence they bisect each other hope you all understand the midpoint formula and the three questions of the exercise 9.3 take care of yourself thank you very much